Hey everybody, um, so we've been doing a Colossians verse by verse study um, that we've been putting up on YouTube and a lot of people have been asking us, how do you do that? Um, and you'll be surprised because we're doing it in the easiest way possible. So what I do is really easy and then I'll give it to our media team and they're gonna, they add a logo in the front and back using an editing software, but you don't need to do that. If you're just putting something together for your church or for your small group, for your student ministry, then you can do it really simply the way that the way that we're going to show you right now. And we're going to go from scripture to an iPad and then show you how the easiest way to do this and to edit and everything right now. All right, so you need to start with some scripture. I use accordance, but you don't have to. You can use whatever you want. So you just make sure you copy this. And there we go, copy as no superscript. Then I just put it into a blank pages document and I use a black landscape here so then you just add that in and so and then at with every verse at the end of every verse you just insert a page break so that you're putting one verse on each page and then you can just make it whatever size you want to that it looks like it's going to fill up the page like you want something big ish and then you can space it out some too so that you have something to work with right and then you just do that for the whole document and then you can uh, save it and you can export it as a PDF and then it will show up here. Here we go on a PDF, right? And where each page on, on your PDF is just a different verse. What you'll do from there is you'll airdrop it or somehow save it and send it to an iPad, which we have an iPad here. And then what you're gonna do is you'll need um, some sort of stylus to be able to do this and you can open it up in iBooks. So if you're doing um, Yes, if you're doing um, If you're airdropping it, it'll ask you what do you open it up and you open it up in iBooks Which is going to be um, what you would do for a PDF. So and then you'll just use this to to make adjustments, but what you need to do first is you need to record your screen. So um, the way you do that is you should have it in your whatever this control center and you'll look at the record button but you need to hold it down first and it will ask you um, to turn the microphone on. You want to make sure the microphone is on. And we use an external microphone that's plugged in. You don't have to do that, but if, if you have the if you have the budget for it and you can get a nicer microphone that will record, it'll have a better quality. So that's what we do here. And then you just hit start recording. And then once you're recording, it'll tell you, there we go. Now, all you have to do is hit this little button here to edit, and then it'll give you a little palette here. And I use green because it has turned out to be the best. And you just start writing what you want to what you want to write on here. So for I want you to know how great a struggle I have for you, right? And for those at Laodicea, and for all those who have not seen me face to face. And you can write you can write whatever you want on there. And then when you're doing it, if if you want to, you get this little erase, and you can erase all of that. And you say, well, this is, here you go. See this right here? He's saying, I want, what does I want? I want you to know. To know what? I want you to know the great struggle. So there we go, struggle. And then you can write whatever you want to on here and then work this out. And I always try to end with a clean slate just because it looks nice. And then as soon as you finish, then you can hit this little record button again and it says stop recording. And you want to make sure that you stop saying the things that you want to, give it a little bit of time, and then hit stop. And when that happens, you'll see, oh, it comes up here, screen recording video saved in, to iPhotos, and, or to photos. Then what you do is you open, you go into photos, and you'll get to see what you've done here. And then what you'll want to do here is you'll be able to, you can listen to it if you want. Um, to make sure that you get everything recorded you want or then you can just edit it and when you edit it you can you can crop it and get rid of all the stuff that you don't want in there and then there you have it and it record the whole video that you want 
and it will record just the part of the screen that you want. It's, it's, it's so easy. If you have an iPad, you just make a Word document, change it to a PDF, open it as a PDF on your iPad, and then you record it using the built-in screen, uh, the screen recording option, and then there you go.